Yes, people, what's going on? Welcome to episode 11 of the Trinity, repowered by Dangor. Yes, 100%. It is another episode of the Trinity. We've got a game tomorrow, Premier League game at the Vitality Stadium against Bournemouth. Vitality. Man United taking it to Vitality, repowered by Dangor. Um, <laughs> <laughs> we need to get some points on the board because it's been absolutely miserable, so miserable the last three games. And we've got the chance now to put some more points on the board if we can, to start getting a little bit of momentum going into the FA Cup at least. That's what we need to do. But before we get into that, before we get into all the shenanigans, cussing KG, cussing Owen, them doing what they need to do, them having their say, we need to let you guys know that this video is brought to you by Match Bingo, where every goal, every substitute, every, every, every corner, every throw-in, Everything that happens in the game can win you real cash. And I took that off my good friend at DR Sports. Every time he says it at Match Bingo, it is real cash prizes. Um, it makes footy more enjoyable playing along with your mates as well on your bingo card uh, with your device. All you have to do is download the app by clicking the link in the video description below or scanning the QR code on screen, as you can see. Uh, once you're in the app and you've grabbed yourself some uh, some bingo cards to play along with, um, as events happen during the game, they automatically get stamped. So you haven't got to go in there and, and say, oh, there's been a goal in this minute or there's been a left-footed goal or there's been a substitution. Let me go and stamp my card. No, it does it all for you automatically. If you get a full line, if you're the first to get the full line or the first to get the full house, of course, you will win. You can buy up to five cards per match to increase your chance, uh, which increases your chance of winning. But the guys at Match Bingo have also got completely free games every single week that you can get involved with as well, where you don't need to pay anything. You just get a free card. Um, this week's one is called Bingo's, um, and it's got loads of different football teams across the EFL. Um, and it's just got them to score. You know, I've got like um, Tranmere on there or I've got like Huddersfield on there, different teams, and you can get involved in that for free. Um, um, and they have another game as well. Plenty of games for you to guys for you guys to get involved in for free. There's a £575 cash reward um, up for grabs for Bournemouth against, <laughs> uh, for Bournemouth, uh, against Manchester United. Um, so uh, get over to that one. And also there is over £1,000 to be won between the game between Arsenal and Aston Villa at the Emirates on Sunday. So make sure you get involved. Also, which is a really nice touch, every single card you purchase supports the Stroke Association as well. So you know that um, any, any, any card you buy, a portion of that is going to support the Stroke Association, which is obviously a fantastic cause. Players must be 18 or over. Please gamble. Uh, please play responsibly and be gambleaware.org. So click the link in the description now or scan the QR code on screen to play. We've got our cards. KG, you got your card? In KG's left. <laughs> <laughs> he just uh, he, he ran he, he ran off. But I've got my cards. <laughs> Owen, you got your cards? I got I got three. I got three cards. Um I've... Look at him! Look at him! Look at That's him. so uh, annoying. I tried to find something, guys. I've been. I got this book on football. What you're learning about football? Wait, yeah. what now? <laughs> How many years got, into yes. the journey? <laughs> wait, oh what? man! And the wait. book, and the book is proper. I was, I was also share to you, look. Yeah. <laughs> you're doing wait, coaching. Wait, it breaks it? all down. It breaks it all down. What does it, it break proper down? breaks it all what, down. What does it break down? What? Everything. Wait, what fans wait. are. What? <laughs> everything. Everything. Wait, Midfield. Wait, wait. So, wait. Hold on, everything. I wish I could get Bro, I really... Do you not mind if I go to the... I need to get this. I need to get this, bro. We need to see this The problem is, KG... The thing is, he's an icon here. But by by what happened with his keys the other week, there's a very good chance he will never come back with this book. Like, that's it. We could spend the next hour with KG trying to find his book. But whilst he tries to find his book, I'll let you know some of the things that are on my card that I'm looking for tomorrow. So on one of them... It's a simple of, I need a Bournemouth player to be caught offside. I think that's very doable. Um, Bournemouth to get a free kick. Again, very doable. 
Um, six or more minutes injury time. That's in the middle. So this is my top line. Six or mm -hmm. more minutes injury time. In recent Man United games, very possible. We've had tons of uh, injury time being added on. Uh, also, a Man United throw in. That's in my top line. And Manchester United to make a fourth substitution. I tell you what, Flex. Mm -hmm. As top lines bad. go. It's oh. not bad. Oh, oh. Yeah, and that one bad. line can get me a call at £25. Oof. Yes. Yes. Hey. That's not bad. That's not, not bad. bad. Uh, yeah, two lines give you 50 quid. Obviously, a full house would be the £250 pot. Um, my top line is um, I need a left-footed goal. I need a uh, first substitution made. That's going to happen. Uh, five minutes injury time. Look at him. Look at him. Yeah, total empty climax. I told you you wouldn't find it. I Flex, I told you. Do I not know Kevin Gary or what? Because you yeah. walked off and I went, if his keys like, the other week or anything to go by, he will not find this book. He will no. not bring the book back. And he comes back and goes, anti climax, can't find the book. Ah, I tell you what. Oh. <laughs> oh, that's so frustrating, man. Oh man. Can we take a second? Really, what, 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 what we're really underestimating here really is. KG has said many times, yeah. do not come to me for breakdown and stats. And he goes, I have no sources. He goes, all everything yeah. that I'm doing is off the cuff. I just say what I feel. But now it seems like he's trying to gain a greater knowledge of the game. It's like he's gone. So this thing, football, like what really yeah, is it? Like, and then Pete KG, and then Pete, and then, yeah, and Pete KG, he's lost the book. He's lost the book. And can't find it. <laughs> You got serious issues. Ah, uh, wait, wait. Ah, oh, that's so funny, though. <laughs> wait, KG, what's the book? Oh, called? man, but then again. Is it like, I'm what, just, what I'm... is football? What's it called? Tell me it's not like football for dummies <laughs> or something like that. If it's football KG, for what dummies. what book is this? KG, what book is this called? What fucking book is this, bro? <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Can I, do you honestly want to know? What's... Of course we do. We need <laughs> to know what. <laughs> bro, he's come on to the first episode of the Trinity and he said... Guys, just to let you know, I've ordered a book about oh, football. Man, no, just to, just this, to show uh, me more about it. This, yeah, because... Oh, man, I wish I could... Wait, hold on, here it is. And he can't even remember what it's called. <laughs> Do you know what's embarrassing, yeah? Now, because I, I can't remember because I just... I, I said I need to be... <laughs> here you go. Football. How to, here he goes. Football. How to play. <laughs> here you go. You want to type it in? Here you go. Football. A step-by-step -step to mastering <laughs> the skills. Here you go. KG, what is that? Why have you ordered that? Wait, KG, KG, stop, 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 stop. stop. <laughs> it's, it's riveting. <laughs> Look at this. <laughs> Wait, let me read this to you. Ever dreamed to be the world-class football star? <laughs> Get ready to learn how to. <laughs> KG, KG. Look, it's got to be Hey, look, look. Gage <laughs> is in the, the football there, content bro. space, yeah. He's given his opinions, whatever, and he's just ordered a book, <laughs> Football, How to Play. And do you know what the worst thing is, Owen? Do you know what the worst thing? Any normal person that did this, their credibility would have gone out the window. But with his, they're like, well, we knew this about him. <laughs> Same. Yeah, we knew. Him. We knew. Look, we got crossing. It's oh going to teach you crossing. So what do you go out in the garden and practice these? What, what's your plan here? Are you trying to get better at football? What are you, what are you two doing? What are you, game, mate. What makes you they even break everything down, bro. They're breaking everything down. You see where they say that's the pitch. Sometimes it's grass. Sometimes it's... <laughs> it's a real breakdown. I think it's great. Yep. Ball knowledge. KG, not that you go and buy, like, I don't know, like a, a, a Johan Cruyff book to find out about the philosophy of like his style or a Pep Guardiola book or Arsene Wenger, Sir Alex, like, you know, like pioneers of the game to sort of. No, yeah. just, basically you've bought a hat. Ever, ever dreamed of being a footballer? Read this. And you bought that as well. I thought we were talking about this was a gift. So you bought that just no, so you no. thought... you. <laughs> did you search for that? KG, did you yeah. go How on did Amazon you come across or was you scrolling? How Tell did me. you come across that? Uh, tell yeah. us, it's the Trinity, so we could do this. Right, How cool. did you so come to me, I was like, I was like, the fans want more from me. They want to see me develop. <laughs> <laughs> understand the rules. The fans want more from me. They want to see my true development and understanding of the game. And I thought, go get a book. <laughs> Literally. <laughs> so I went on Amazon. I goes, Why did you choose that? Ball. <laughs> <laughs> and then after, there was, there was a lot of different encyclopedias of different balls. And, you know, I thought, nah, I don't need that. So I got more, what you call it? Football. Teach me. That's the first book that came on. Amazon recommended. 
industry. Um, in yeah. So I thought that's the one. Got it. Why are and you now... Why are you talking to Amazon like you're having a conversation with it as well? <laughs> like I don't know anyone that would do this. He goes. <laughs> I want to know more about football. So he types into Amazon like he's having a conversation with a person. Football, teach me. <laughs> teach me. <laughs> oh, yeah. So then after now, because again, all the allegations of me not knowing ball, that's all going to go because I'm working no, my way it's up. not, KG. It's only going to get worse. You've just got a book to teach you the basic rules. This has backfired massively for you. I can't I'm locked in. Too, I'm just... locked in. I'm locked what's, in, bro, man. Why, bro, what's in your brain, yeah? Like, what? Yeah. How how have you arrived at this? What's made you? How are you? Like, I really wanted to give back to the footballing community because you know I want to be like I want to be on the analyst shows as well. Again, you know I'm really stretching out and really trying to get into this football YouTube space, and I need to be res at respected opinion as an analyst. So this is personal um, development. This is it. This personal is development. It. I have you noticed on the oh, shows on the on the match views? I be actually doing insights, um, which Owen really likes. You know, I've been. Light stats, um, not heavy. <laughs> Honestly, like you'll see this on the match view tomorrow. Some of the it's stuff terrible. he reads out, and he goes into this weird voice when he does That's it as well. He goes like, <laughs> "Time for an insight," and then he goes like, um, "What was it last time?" It was when Luis Diaz has taken a corner today. That's one more corner than he took last time he played Manchester United. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It's cool. Actually, give it. Um, then he drifts corners. off. I tell you what. I think what's really happened, Flex. Yeah, here, and I know this to be a fact too. Mm. I think KG's very been he's been rattled and he's rattled yeah. by the reaction. Comments have got to him. He's got no ball knowledge. It's, it's, he don't it's know nothing. Yeah. And it's yeah, the yeah, specific yeah. video. It's the yeah. combined eleven with Matisse has That's got under 11. his and skin. That was it. I mean, that was, <laughs> it no, was no, it. you know, I think I think there's been an ongoing narrative about my ball knowledge, and I thought. <laughs> I've got to sort this out. 11. He called me. He called me. He went, oh, I had to stop looking at the comments. No. <laughs> I didn't see the comments. I'm going to go look. But now. You need to understand this is a DK, bro. DK used to teach us at school, bro. DK, how to a step by step guide to mastering. I'm just trying to get to mastery, guys. Bro, I don't they're know saying why that you need to go. They need to you actually go, need to go and physically do that. Are you going to do that? Like, that sounds like training. Like, you've got to go get What, if I, like, what really? if I make out to get my UA for B license? Got to start somewhere. I'll be that's... very proud of you. There What's you go. the size of the book as well? Is it like one of those ones for kids that actually the book's really large? It's large. I mean? it's large. <laughs> it's... Ooh, wait there. Ooh. It's not A4, it's like big and plasticky. <laughs> wait. It's a hardback. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> wait, I've only, I know it was eight days ago. So Have you seen the comments now? Flex? I'm just looking. <laughs> they're, they're it's nasty. horrid. They, they were nasty. They were really nasty. Ooh. Yeah, really, really nasty. I bet I'm gonna, yeah. Did you? Are you in these comments? Did you get back in here? Nah, I was getting to. I only said what you call it. We because it's <laughs> the day that Martinez got injured, so I was letting them know that. Listen, it was before when Lissandro got injured. Oh, that was man. terrible. Yeah. yeah. Okay. I read like four or five of them. I was like, ah, it's not for me. <laughs> Close time. <laughs> Close it's great time. to put Martinez on. He can't even play. <laughs> Close the time. They don't even understand, yeah. We're so committed to developing and giving him this A1 content, yeah? And you think to yourself, I've gone out of my good hard... I've given you my good hard earned time, yeah? And look how you're reacting to this. Just taking a piss. So now I've got the book. I'll be better. <laughs> Some of them were, like, properly cussing about as well. No, these and are I, bad. And, and, and honestly, oh, yeah, yeah, it, yeah, it, yeah, bothered, no, it bothered KG. Yeah, no, you can't. It was <laughs> mean. Oh, no. no. really mean. Oh, no, KG is here. You were there. Yeah, and I said, there you go. Look. Martinez was fit We filmed when we filmed, by the way. Other than that, I don't agree. I don't regret my behaviour. I, I will totally act the same way again. <laughs> but I was also the part of it. I don't think people were, were, were criticising your ball knowledge. I think they were criticising your behaviour during it as well. You said I bullied then, thingy. You yeah. said I bullied what you call it. I thought it, everything, I just didn't like any of the sound bites. Any of the, wait, not the sound bites. What would you call them? Just the messages. Disgusting. Yeah. It was disgraceful. Disgraceful. Yeah, it's too, it's too Disgraceful. Too yeah, yeah, so um, oh, I'm that, Coco on Black says, KG, I love you, but this is an absolute madness with loads of laughing emojis. <laughs> I usually get wow. that. That's, love KG, but <laughs> too much bias. You shouldn't be on this. <laughs> but I he know, says, I love my Flex? team. <laughs> Where, they said, where's Flex? Never get him on this again. <laughs> no, no, they was, no, no, no. And Flex called me on the last minute one said, oh, do you mind, do you fancy just jumping in and doing this thing? Yeah, yeah, I thought he's, I just thought it'd yeah. be nice. I was like, just mix it nah. up. I'll do the preview with Matisse. You do that. Like, let's just get nah, different, different, different views. 
I, oh. I, was, well, about... I, I did one. I did one with Matisse the, the year before, and Flex was in the room for that one. Ooh, and so yeah, yeah. when I was doing when I was doing some of those decisions, Flex even in the room was cussing yeah. me out, KG. You off, know what? Off camera, I I'd, put someone, I'd put someone in place, and I hear him go, "I can't believe you've done that." I went, oh, yeah. <laughs> Owen, remember that we had a pep talk before, and he goes, "They will <laughs> hammer you if you don't make sure their players are in." So I said, I listened to Owen. I thought, "Say no more." <laughs> Went into that one, you call it, and it backfired. And I said, you can't win. So obviously we definitely had a good old bitch vest, you know. The worst thing is that team's not even that bad. It's really close to the, what you call it, yeah. I say though, Bruno Maynou in midfield, okay. Yep, yep. Gusto left back, Martinez Varan and Dallo. Yep. yep. And then up front you've gone with Garnacho, Hoyland and Palmer. It's and fine. You got in goal. I don't even think it's that. Like, what are they angry it's, at? It's the Martinez one because he couldn't play. Or but at the time of recording, it's he could. just ridiculous. They, it's that, thank I'm you asking you. Yeah, I do see what you mean. It's not it's that bad. bad. Like, that's not. why I'm still. Again, I realize I clearly don't know the game, and that's why I've got the DK book <laughs> of mastering. <laughs> It's a hard uh, uh, what was you gonna say, KG? You, you about to say, um, yeah, I about... listen, I've been on the roll right now. You know, we've yeah. been talking about a Liverpool this week as well. I don't know, but we must, we must again, Liverpool and just the difference of Liverpool lost to Atalanta at home 3 0. This is a team that we played in the um, in the Champions League, um, and we didn't lose to, we drew with them, and then we we beat was it 2 2 and 3 2? I think, yeah, 3 2, yeah, yeah but that, that was that was a state, so that was a state of our couple of years ago, yeah. a couple of years yeah. ago, KG, <laughs> a couple of years ago. <laughs> Didn't we play last season, bro? That was under Ollie, bro. That was under Ollie. Into our 40s, man. KG, man. You thought, wait, KG, wait there. Wait, everyone, everyone pause. Wait one second. This is what I think's happened here. This is what he's done in his brain. This is this explains this guy. In his head, he's gone. We played them not long ago. Them same players. We didn't lose them. Whole different team. Whole different team. New manager. Everything. KG Ronaldo scored the winner. <laughs> you know, Cristiano Ronaldo. That was a while ago. KG, you got bro, you need more. Oh, man, I thought, so hold on. I can't remember. KG's going on KG's going on Amazon. Go hey, give me another book. Rasmus's team. Um, what do you call it? Yeah, but not when Rasmus was there. Rasmus wasn't even there when he we didn't play against KG. us. I know. Didn't we play Rasmus's team? Um and his brothers are at the, the club. What team was, that was that? Yeah, that was Copenhagen. Copenhagen. That was it. That was a season. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's what you want about. I messed them up with Copenhagen. That's right. <laughs> And you're worried about your ball knowledge, KG. Go and, I feel like there's a lot of judgment. I think I started on the right. I st- that's why I said I started on the right book, guys. You lot tell me I should start on a more heavier one. It's proper. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, Mr. Michael Copenhagen, though. I'm not going to I like the way you saw, you saw them playing a team with a white kit. You went, it must be Copenhagen. Do you know what I've done? I've done the Atalanta. I've done, he's come from there, and his brothers are at the club. I've done that one. So I've just kind of made it make but sense. Wait, but that but there's, there's no that link. There's, 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 I know, but that's, what I did. <laughs> but that's exactly what I did. <laughs> but they've never... Let's hey. still not take away from the part of Liverpool. Like... Yeah, but you can't... <laughs> he was so comfortable with it as well. Way, he changed the subject. Like, he went, like, yeah, you made us talk about this. By the way, by the way yeah, you have to understand... I'm on min. I'm operating on minimal sleep as well. No, bro. So you decided just... this before you done your long stint. You probably decided this as <sighs> soon as they as soon as they lost. No, I called AGT as well. I've called AGT. Oh yeah, morning. I saw that. I saw that. That was funny. Yeah, no, I've I've absolutely like I've been calling Liverpool fans, but then yeah, sorry about that. <laughs> oh, Kevin Gary. I mean, <laughs> let me do the match stats. Let me do the player ratings um on the streams. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> It's looking kind of, it's looking kind of um, Maguire post holiday. Oh. <laughs> He's left during the initial read to find a book which he then couldn't find. He's come back and explained the book, <laughs> which ah, is no. clearly like a children's picture book. And then he's trying to Mustering. put down Liverpool for being <laughs> for being losing to a team that he confused with a team that we lost to. By the way, this season no, we didn't lose to. We beat them. We lost to Copenhagen at Copenhagen. No, I'm talking. Oh, I'm talking talk about Atlanta guys, <laughs> bro. Yeah, yeah, bro, we played them three result. years ago. At, we played them in 2021, bro. I know, I know, but you confused them with the team this season, mm. Copenhagen, that we didn't beat as well. So I'm like, this yeah. even more confusing. Game. There's a lot. Nah, listen. <laughs> 
It's been. I've had a mare. Do you know what? I'm just going to do the McTominay and sideway pass through all the topics. <laughs> ask, ask me your first question. Uh. Ask God. <laughs> But ask me our first question. Oh, I tell you what, I I tell you yeah. got something to talk about. I've been accused of being a politician this week, talking about right. the uh, well because whenever we're talking about the future of Eric Ten Hag, yeah, I say that um, you know whether you're Eric Ten Hag in or you're Eric Ten Hag out or you're indifferent, yeah. then you have to understand that any that it's always going to be factored in that he's not their guy. Right, he's not their guy, yeah. and change is inevitable when someone buys into an organization or they buy an organization and they bring their own guys in. They're already doing it. Omar Barada, mm-hmm. yeah. Dan Ashworth, Jason Wilcox, progress on that. So by saying that, apparently I'm being a politician because I'm not giving my opinion. And I thought, I thought, okay, I'm not, I'm not afraid to take some criticism on board when it comes to that. So I thought, mm-hmm. what is my opinion? And and honestly, and this might sound like a politician answer, I don't know. I don't. I I don't know. Um, but then I was thinking, is that okay? Is that okay? Because I don't. I do. Do you have this when you go sort of through everyday life? When they go, are you either yes or no on everything, or do you just go, actually, I don't know. Sometimes, you, yeah. Well, well, people force you. What it is is, let's be honest. Yeah. Let's be honest. People say you must be decided at all times. You must There's be not, yes that You're or not no. allowed to have uncertainty. You must be yes which or no. Which leads you to but one I don't or know. two things. You could either be, well, I, I need to. I'm just going to say yes then, or I'm I should just going to can you, why you have search? To? Why don't you know? You can't. The reason why, this, and this was why. And this, yes. I've, I've got an answer to this. I've got an answer to this. That's why I wouldn't know. Because they go, you Eric Ten Hag and you're Eric Ten Hag, Ten Hag out. And for me at the moment, I'm Eric Ten Hag. I don't know. And do you know why? Because yeah. there's still a lot that can happen. If we went now between now and the end of the season and we end yeah. up finishing eighth or ninth yeah. and we don't win the FA Cup, eh, it's not looking good, is out. it? I think at that point, I'd be like, well, if Ineos make a change, I can't really push. What can I push back on? With oh, that? But not Ineos, it's what you would do. Would that's you what I mean, I don't know. I, I, don't, I don't feel, and maybe this is part of it as well, I don't feel really strongly on either side of it because I still think there's more information I can get. For me, I'm, and this is, I suppose, it's a bit of an insight just to my thought process just in life in general, but I want to have as much information as I possibly can before I make a decision. And in this case, I think it's quite a big decision. Some people so say want... that you've got enough, um, you've seen enough data to know what time it is. As what is, what's Flex is? A lot can change. Quality? What's Flex is one of saying? He's looking at all the, you, there's been a lot, there's a, been a lot of games. We almost pretty much played the whole season. And yeah. we've been the same way for, for what, how many games? 30 games plus of looking with no, with a midfield not fixed, with players struggling on the periphery. Like there's, there's some people say that there's been enough data to say where you feel this is going to go. Unless it, so then after, then after, are you break? Are you in the basis of you just hope that it's going to be better? I feel like you do. You do hope it's going to be better because, yeah, when I look at, if you look at the data of like how we're playing and how we're moving, more you, shots faced. Me, you but, yeah, it, it looks very damning. But this is why I think where the, the error of, I'm not sure how to feel here because. I feel like, I feel like it, both sides are right in what they're saying. Do you see what I'm saying? So when you're, when you're, because they they both can be like I yeah they can I, be, but I feel like I'm a, I'm a definitive kind of person though, so that's why I, I like yeah. So you want to be even, one or the other? That's what I mean. That's, 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 that's when other. I get back into personality yeah. types. I think I think yeah. it's exactly. personality types as well. But but I don't think there's anything wrong with that. Maybe because of the the medium that we find ourselves in. You're almost yeah. forced to choose a side. To choose a side. Right. But I don't think there's anything wrong with being like, I don't know, because I don't know how to feel. Yeah. I, I, don't, is, I don't know how to feel. Well, I think if it's, if it's when it's negative, when it's clearly negative and you clearly are upset, then you can't really want this to continue, though. You know what I'm saying? If you watch a game and you're furious, like, you see that like, when Flex is mad at me when we come out of out yeah. of games or, like, a, on a match view or anything, and it's like, the standards, ah, do you know what I'm saying? It's like, mate, why are you but still... But then you can, this, like? you can, because, because you've I, I would, gone I through that. I look over the people doing you've that. You've gone through that too. No, but that's what I'm saying. But I know that my thing is, I've given the grounds of what I think this thing will be. So when I say I'm, I'm back at the manager, there's even that part of, his um the youth development that he's on and now some people will get go as far to say that that's got nothing to do with him when it's yeah, far from the really truth good. it's yeah. it's like the that youth development and him him bringing the players in these players have been training with the first team he's been preparing these players for this moment 
You know, they it's, it's one thing to take bring in one player from the youth, but even now you've got even Shea Lacey's join the um join the ranks and stuff. There'll be more. And his his past of developing youth players, it's there. It's 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 you can see it's clearly there. He is good with young players. And even I think Zlatan was saying it when he was in an interview. I think was it with Piers? And he was saying maybe he's not one for the um established players, but young players, he can get what he wants. He, he can do what he wants. He can mold a team in that thing. So with where the club's going, with FFP, with what I saw last season, I believe there's enough to say I'm going to stand behind this manager and I think you'll learn from those mistakes that happened this season. That's why I'm backing him. But it's interesting, but it's interesting with that though, KG, because this is when I think you get into the territory of you can do a good and a bad job at the same time. Because for instance, you talk about the youth development, someone that would have to be credited with some of the youth players coming through would be John Murto, who we're all saying is yeah. not good enough, he needs to go. But he's had a big hand in the academy for the last decade or so. So, Very true. so, 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 that, to, so that's but the when... though, I'm with you. Yeah, but then yeah, his first game, he was like, I need the, I, I remember when he first came, he was getting to the youth games and saying, I want the youth to play the same way the, um, the senior side play. Yeah. So the plan was, again, I'm not sort yeah. of saying that, I'm not, I'm not saying that Eric Tanag, he, he doesn't have credit because he does, but more my, more my example of John Murto is, is that you can do things well and be mm -hmm. praised for them, but at the same time, you can do things badly and be criticized yeah, for them. And then whether you keep your job or not is basically how do those things kind of weigh up? Yeah, and that's yeah. kind of, the, and that's kind of the thing, the way I'm feeling with it with, with Ten Hag at the moment is I still do think, and you're saying there's a lot of information out already there and a lot of data there rather. So you should be able to, some would say you should be able to make your decision, but this season still can go in many different directions. That's why I think yeah. I'm a little bit, because it could, it could still go really well. We could win the FA Cup. Um, mm -hmm. We could finish, I think Champions League's probably off, but if we won the FA Cup and we say got into the Europa League, I know stands on the floor, 2024, Dan Gore, all that kind of thing. But you would sort of go, <laughs> well, actually, maybe with the alternatives out there, maybe you do, then you do stick with it and go, like KG said, you look at the youth and you look at some of the performances later on in the season, win a trophy, you go, and the injuries mitigate some circumstances. You go, actually, the total package there is yeah. enough to go, you should you should have another go with this next season. On the yeah. flip side, if it does go like, catastrophically bad, and you know, can't dress it up, we've got one, one game out of our last six Premier League games. So if mm -hmm. current form would continue and we end up sliding further down the league, and we don't win the FA Cup, then you go, that's pretty difficult. And and as, again, for me as a fan, it, it's it's difficult. It's very, so right now when I don't have that, I and also this is the other thing too. I want him to succeed. I do. Yeah. I want him to succeed because I want any Manchester United manager to succeed. And even that I've heard is a politician's answer. But yeah, I don't like. And maybe this sounds like Gary Neville-ish, but I don't, I don't like calling for the manager to get sacked. Maybe that's again, that's my personality. I don't, I don't like doing Why, that. Why though? Why? Because, I, because, I, because as a fan, until the bitter end, I want to support. I want to support the players, and I want to support the manager. I don't mm -hmm. want to see Manchester United fail. I don't want to see uh, players fail or manager fails. But if it gets to the point where it's untenable, which I don't think is where he's at at the but moment, that's, that's, but that's the key there. You don't think it's untenable. That's Not right key, now, I think, but yeah. it could be. And I think I see that, yeah. But it, but could, it could turn be. into that very quickly. Yeah. I think, I think it's about um, people arriving at different train stops at different times. That's that's yeah. literally what I feel like it is. Like as we've seen in this space and just with fans in general, some people get there extremely quickly. Some people, some people get there at the very, very first sign of it going wrong. Even if they were very behind it, once there's new evidence after maybe just one year. And they start seeing a wobble in early in the second. Done. Nope. No, 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 Over. This is this is over. This guy is never going to recover from this. I can see with my own eyes, with the coaching, with the tactics, with the players that's there. Mm -mm, not for me. Scrap that. Some people can do that very, very quickly. Mm. Other people can uh, be, you know, less. I know this, I'm just using it as an example, though, like of Thai, like just like the, uh, the whole, because it's completely the opposite. Some yeah. people will never ever do it never ever do it like i don't care if it's the david moyes thing i don't i do not care jose calling players fat or what nope nope you stick by your manager until you know that they're standing down that's my job as a fan that's how i'm going to support this club whoever yeah. puts on a red shirt even if they're terrible they're going for it doesn't matter i never call for them to leave and it's not my job to do that it's just my job to turn up and make sure i support them every single game 
all of the rest, they're one of us. I don't care. I'm not getting involved with it. And then there's all of the stuff for the train stations in between where it's like, hmm, yeah, I'm going to jump off here, I think. I see you lot in a bit. Um, yeah, I, I'm yeah. going to stay on a few more stops, man. I'm going to I'm gonna carry on a little bit longer. And yeah, yeah I, I might see you at that stop in a bit. I, yeah, I might come back. Like, yeah, it just, it's just, the, it's just the law of the land. It's just, mm. it's just how we is, are. I worked people. out. I worked out what would it would take for me to be Ten Hag out. Yeah, because you just said season. Christmas, didn't you? You said no, just... but I worked out what it would take for me this this oh. season. Oh, what would it if, be? Like, so if let's say we get out coach out done, you see that Brentford thing, and it's not if it's like you see like when we play Brentford against Coventry, we play Coventry in the FA Cup, yeah, yeah. and because I'm thinking how emotional I am anyway, yeah? yeah, we can't lose at Wembley to Coventry. We can so is that so is that the one? This no, is no, lucky. Like, like, you said to me that you should have been no, one no, game no, away. No, yeah. 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 Remember you me. remember you came no, to you said to Flex out. earlier on this season. Yeah, you said you when it was Wigan, Flex you went into that me, game. He went you into that game and said if we lose this, he said he said if we lose this game against Wigan, then then I'd have to then I'd have to be against the manager. And you said if we so, lose against Wigan, it's got nothing to do with the manager. My it manager, can only be on the players. No, def, there you go. So again, if I finished my point from the beginning, I would have been very clear for you lot to understand what's going on. So I now <laughs> said... Passive aggressive. No, because you lot jumped on me without, what do you call it, without context. I said now, in the game against, um, in the game against Brentford, not Brentford. There was a game where we it was a clear loss. Like we had you said nothing. Brentford. Yeah, it was Brentford. No, there's a game. There was a, was, was a horrid game. We got out tactics. You know when he said that's on the manager and the play. Brentford. Brentford. It's Brentford. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, no, I'm trying, I'm not trying to. <laughs> Oh, guys, stop doing this, man. Just work with me. Work with me. Because I just don't remember. No, <laughs> you're just laughing and you're not even, what do you call it? I'm saying I said like. Brentford. No, but I was thinking, is it, what do you call it? But let's stay All with right. me. Stay with me. Stay, with me. stay with me. Yeah. So I said, yeah, in a, if it's a game where the play, the um, the, the mistake is on the manager for being out tactic, out coached, I can't stand with him anymore. If it's yeah. a mistake like what we had when someone does a stupid slide tackle and it's yeah. like, if it's a game where it's on the players, I would, I would, I won't be um the like manager. The Chelsea out. one, like the it Chelsea has, one. One of, exactly. So I'm saying there, there's a two. There's a there's a clear difference of you were out, you were done, you were Thomas Franked. And your tactics, you couldn't compete this, that, and the other, which we've seen in the past. If he gets out tactic by the commentary manager, what are we doing? This is beyond, like, there's no way that this can continue if that happens. Because, yes, we've seen other games, but I've now got to the point with everything I've seen, if we get to this and he can't um, out tactic this commentary guy, yeah, I can't stand with that. I wouldn't be able to stand with him as a manager. And that's the thing when you go in the definitives. But then if the players well, let him down... If the players yeah. let him down with a, a bullshit tackle or something yeah, yeah. stupid yeah. happens in a the game, then I'll yeah. say, you know, mitigating circumstances, we roll on. What if we win? That, yeah. what, so then what if, so what if, yeah, it's yeah. shit and uh, they're getting chances, we're getting chances and like we just, we got a penalty in one. I just, I just want to win. I don't care. Yeah, I, I want to win. We have to, the then, main thing, the goal is, the goal is, we, the goal is right. getting to the I final. I agree. No, I, I agree I with you. A loss, a loss to Coventry, it would be yes. too much. Right, I, lost I hear that. That's the team that's not. Then, that's the team then, that's not a, go ahead. Yeah, I hear. I hear exactly what you're saying. The league below that should not be happening. They're not even like in contention. At Wembley, to come up to the Premier League. Like, yeah, it should. It should not happen. Like, unfathomable. Which is where you get into, though. That's where you get into. It's unfathomable, and this is what I meant about the Wigan thing. It's like, unfortunately, when you're the manager, it's like, yeah, your reputation is on the line in games like this. Mm. You cut like, you don't get to lose in any fashion. Like this it's it, at Mark, Wembley, bro. Like those... even if even Wembley, if there was, it's I hear too you. much. I, it's I like that. that's what I'm saying. So it's yeah, not. But... It's it's not the same as the Wigan, but I'm saying that I get where some people get off the train at Wigan, but I'm saying that this one here, this is with everything that's happened this season, we're finally in a space where you're not no, but... far from the finish line. Yeah, it's a very strange line, though. You didn't, you didn't let me finish that bit there. Yeah, hold on, one second. Just, just, I'll finish this bit and then I'll hand it back to you. What I'm saying is, is because you're saying it's definitively like if we lose the commentary, like in the manner that you're suggesting, like it's yeah. out tactic by their manager, you can't stand with him. But what I'm saying is, is that we can also hide a lot of deficiencies that are wrong with the team and win in a shit way, which is what people that's say. Fine. So saying, I can deal with that. But, but but then but then that doesn't show progression though. No, just because, because, just it is we because scrape, if we scrape through against goal. Brentford, no wait, let me finish. Let me finish. Yeah. If we say like say like there was like 
we just couldn't create chances. Like, you know, they were winning more duels that we were, fa- they were facing more shots. We were facing more shots than they had. And then we'd done the jing banning at the end. Like yeah. the Mason. Say it was, yeah, like, we, say it was the Brentford game. Say it was yeah. the Brentford game. But, but we, we won. won. Yep. You're saying then, then it's all right because we won. But what I'm saying we, yeah. on a bigger level, that's still just as alarming. Someone just found an, a, 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 a glimmer of hope, like a, a magic moment yeah. at Wembley, which don't get me wrong, limbs and you go through to the final because it's all about winning. However, mm. the indictment of the actual team is going, actually, hang on a minute. We just played Bre- uh, Coventry over 90 minutes and yeah. Mason might come off the bench and scored in the last second. We, we oh, were to KG, KG's, But to KG's point with that, and again, this is... Uh, to steer it back to where it was, it was Alarming. about what would what would it take for him to be like, oh, yeah, I'm yeah, ten yeah, hag yeah. out. I think mm. if you win a match, you don't really, you don't put it in FA Cup saying fine, you don't care. Mm. My only mm. thing I would say, KG, to push back to what you said is, yeah. So just to clarify, you're saying yeah. that the only way that you would turn, and by the way, to the audience, this isn't me sort of t- telling KG he's got to change his opinion because sometimes yeah. that's they yeah. perceive it as we're trying to force our opinions onto KG, which yeah. is not the case at all. Um, the 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 scenario that you were painting there is that. If we got out tacticked by the Coventry manager, Mark yeah. Robbins, former United player, then you'd be like, well, that you can't, you can't, that can't happen. But I just don't know if that, it, I don't, I don't know if you would ever find yourself in that scenario because if we lost to Coventry, yeah, it would almost, it, it would almost be like, they go hand in hand, like the the bad tactics, but bad player performances. Like if we lost the Coventry, I don't see a scenario where you go, the players it's today were the, ex- the players today were excellent, just the tactics were off. That's why we lost the Coventry and the FA Cup. Yeah, that's no, true. I, just don't that's th- true. I don't think that's that scenario true. can ever exist. That's, that's, not that's, my, you know that's why my I, point is like, I don't know if you could ever then be Tenag out because that scenario you painted is impossible. No, because there's time, like, even in that thingy one, yeah, you see the... We played, we we pulled up on Thomas Frank a, a few times, yeah. And it's not like it's all it's been rough. Like even in the last one, didn't we have the last yeah. minute we just got you know, yeah, the bench. A lot of our one. games against him has looked like that where you're where they're scratching their head saying, How have we not won this game? You know, I mean they they're coming away, and it's like it's a bit scary because you think, well, he's got your number. Some of these managers just have your your number tactically. Now, don't get me wrong, at the same time. I've watched this season clang after clang. I've seen errors where this shouldn't happen. Even when we have manager how matches we, up 3-0. How we even though when I think of Champions League, <laughs> there was just clangers. You know, where even yeah. some stuff like well, Rashford just gets sent off because he goes in like it, yeah, tune it up. Yeah, 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 yeah. Mitig- well. so, you know, when, so sometimes when I can say, No, I've actually seen things where I'm like, How have my team done that? Mm, I, I've yeah. been in so now it's I'm not no, that's but what now I'm saying, it's I'm saying there's, I don't think there's never going to be a game where 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 the players are perfect, but the tactics are wrong. Because I just no, with I'm this saying, team, I, think I don't players, think that's possible. No, but if the players throw it away, I'm thinking in a way where, like you know, like one of those clear what we've seen many a times this season when they just throw it away. If it's one of those ones, what can I do? Like even that one with Wan Bissaka does a slide tackle in the um against Chelsea in yeah. that. Well, sorry, Delo does Liverpool. a slide tackle. And then it's oh, it's right. that one when they that's the maddest game for me that I've ever seen, probably in terms of I never we were I've never seen the man in the match handed to somebody else. Yeah. And then But it, then like, the pushback, the pushback is that yeah, look at the manner I'm, of the game and the way the tactics were meant that it was just a we couldn't we didn't have a then, chance to and like, then the manager comes control. to the touchline, the manager comes yeah. to the touchline and says, Hey guys. Can you hold on to the ball, please? Mm. Two minutes. But I'm not disputing that. I'm and not disputing that. I'm saying there's times where the managers wanted to say, "Hey guys, this is what I want," and they do something completely different, just on some bozo stuff. And we know that one thing for sure with Man United, I know really, but this team has it in them. That's the one thing that said. I know you can send these boys out with with go and do X, and they'll do something completely different. And that's the scary thing for me because. It's many a times, it could be an Onana into the net. It could be a Casemiro passing to someone in midfield, have to go and rescue it, red card. It could be a, what do you call it? Like, there's been so many different incidents this season where you're like, that should never have happened. I can't believe this. But that's what I'm saying, that scenario, but that's why I'm saying that scenario is impossible because if the players play well against a team like Coventry, 
the tactics are almost redundant, aren't they? We would but, win. I, but I'm saying so that we should never lose. We should so, never lose. But that's the thing. If he, so we should never you, lose. Do you get what I'm saying? Like, yeah, no. Do you actually see how he's, he's, the, he's saying that? The picture you painted is impossible because but, if the players we play well, if the if the players play well, then mm -hmm. by definition, the manager would have done his job because he would have got the best out of the players and we should win that game. And even if we won that game, even if we lost that game, I think people would be like, oh, but it was our best performance of the season. I just don't, I just don't see that scenario that you've painted out of, oh, this would be the, the way that I would turn on Ten Hag as actually being possible. I think it's impossible. I, what he should never lose. It's one of those he must. It's like yeah. when when Thingy said, when you were playing, when the Liverpool game came and they said, how should you win it, this, that, and the other, you must win. And it's mm. one, I feel that way. You, like, I, I would have to, I would severely look at it, but then I'd be on the thing of, I could imagine the emotion saying, I'm out, Ten Hag out. I could only, I could imagine it. But if we if, lost. If the, game ends, if the game ends and it, like, we're out of the cup to Coventry, I could only, uh, I'm thinking it's a new of low. It's a new low, But if we lost yeah. that, but if we lost that game, by definition, the players would have played badly. And then we'll have the yeah. conversation of, oh, it's the players, not the tactics again. So that's why I'm saying like, no, they go hand in hand. Game on 10, though. We could, we could just imagine he, he makes some changes. Yeah, yeah, but that, that's one, one. Yeah. And then we'll say, why did we beat him in 90 minutes? Say, you've had 120 yeah. minutes to beat yeah. commentary and the tactical setup. What the fuck? Yeah. How no, you got, saying, let's how, say you it's not the... acceptable for Man United to go to pens against Coventry. It's not. That's what I'm just not. saying. Like I don't, I don't see no, any saying, scenario. Isn't there, isn't there a way where, we... where let's say he's what you call it? He set up the team. The players ain't done what they need to do. Let's say we're two, two something down, two nil down or whatever. He's made changes. The players have come on and they've brought, they brought it back to two two, but they still go out on pens. Who's that on? Well, you'd still be looking at the totality of the 120 minutes plus pens, wouldn't you? So you'd be saying, well, you did enough to get in, but you did enough to fail in the first place. This is what I'm saying. I don't, I just don't see a situation where the players can play perfectly, but like the tactics are bad. And then we go, I was just on the manager. Because if we, if we lost the Coventry, the players have to play bad, realistically. Mm -hmm. Yeah. They have, to, they have to play, play below their level. Game, but if, they play at their, if they play at their, uh, a decent level, they will win yeah. that game. They have and to. Also, and also what we're, what we're thinking, is, sorry, just quickly, is that this is the problem when you look for one specific fixture to decide. This is why every to decide really and truly, and this is what you kind of show me at the Wigan thing as yeah. well, because I was I was going down this line because there's yeah. certain we're gonna league one. And I was like, listen, I don't care whether it's a jing bang ref or whatever, you should be so good against League One Wigan that it shouldn't matter if the ref did a shit decision. It shouldn't matter if there was a lucky own goal that got managed to be scored. You should still be scoring plenty of goals against Wigan in the FA Cup. No, no, no. That's no, no, no. Of course. And then look how we played. And you was like, "See, Flex, yeah. I told you. Look at these players. We had a million chances." Yeah. So I did go. Actually, what I learned from that experience, really and truly, which I'm actually trying to basically say to you, is that which you helped me learn, ironically, yeah. that you can't do it on one game. Like no, there is, there is always a game that makes you. Don't get me wrong. Like there's there's something that can happen in the emotions where you go, yeah, I'm done after that. Can't believe I'm, I'm finished. Yeah, but actually, yeah. it, the real reason you're done is not one game. The real that's reason true. you're done it's is the because of all that's, that's why, that's why, and that's why I say I need more information. That. No, that's why yeah, I say but, I need more information. But that's what I'm saying. I think that's data. it. That's the point. Now I'm with you lot on. I'm saying that this would be like everyone's. You've had lots of um. You've taken a lot of body shots this season, in it. Yeah. This shot would be the one for me that so I can't get. Yeah. I, this is for me, like, geez, guys, like, we. I've seen a lot of things that I thought, you know what, don't worry, grit and bear it. This will be beyond the low. Like, Wem Wembley. But KG, Wembley, would, it tell you, would it tell you that they need Coventry. to just rip it? You know when I said rip it all up, yeah? The yep. reason why I did that in that moment, I'll be honest, obviously my head was gone, yeah, I was extremely angry. Yeah. But it was more of like a, if you're if you're losing like that, in that fashion, when the yeah. game was like that, and then the game before that was how the Brentford one was. It yeah. made me feel in that moment, I'll be honest, I felt like, nah, this you have to clear this all. And I didn't want to mm -hmm. just attribute the blame to just one person. And you know, I said from the manager all the way through the way. because I I felt in that moment, I was like, the whole thing just needs to start again, actually. Mm. That, that, that th there isn't like the longer you just trickle on and I'll take that bit and maybe that, you know, but then again, obviously when you calm down and it wasn't just because we drew against Liverpool, it wasn't, it was yeah. the actual calming down of going, oh, I've had 7,000 million injuries, no back four, like Everything they're going to change the structure. Everything. Like let them just. And why am I surprised? Oh, it's not the first and time. Why am I? Yeah. yeah. And then like KG says, 
just, just give him the summer. Let them do the transfers. Take him yeah. off it. Let him cut. Yeah. If it's by Christmas and there's nothing, yeah, Katie's got a point. Do you see up. what I'm saying? So, yeah, like, but like, then if you wanna... lose the commentary, watch. I swear you're right. Hell. Watch. No, but then you you would think about it. I just know myself, yeah. I can imagine the stream. It, yeah, I can thinking. imagine the stream. Me and Owen, you're at Wembley, me and Owen on the thingy. Oh. We're, we're, we got to half time and um, we're 2 0 down. <laughs> and inside, we're trying to stay positive because there's still people in the live chat saying, see, that's the problem with these thingies, these fan channels. Where's the positivity? But we're still 2 0 down, yeah. by the way. Yeah. yeah. And then after, then there's going to be a bunch of people um, that arrive saying, hey, uh, then it's going to be the people laughing. And they're, they're okay. That's not the ones. So There's the one see, and you lot still want to stand behind this shit, this, that, and the other. Then guess what? Final whistle. Owen says, KG. <laughs> It'll be like, <laughs> but like, like tomorrow, wasn't it? I remember what came. What came was it? I think it was Brentford. I, I, I was on the phone to KG. I was on the phone to KG before the Brentford game, yeah. And we were chatting about how we think the game goes. And I said, "Wait to half time because we do have this thing where if we're not winning by half time, and it will happen tomorrow, by the way, if we're not winning yeah. by half time, the meltdown is just on another level." And it's like me. Even if, because, and I tell you, Flex, you're going to love it tomorrow because it's great it, entertainment. Gonna, they come no, in, and KG you. gets prickly at half time. He takes like one look at the live chat and then he starts going, "What were you saying last week?" KG proper yeah, went yeah, off. Yeah, yeah, some some <laughs> dick, some idiot, bro. I told him. Oh, yeah, was it? KG, yeah, I was like, KG was like, KG was like, go find a girl. Go. Find... Yeah, suck it, girl. I was, I was on Lex. Because you know what it was, yeah? KG, it was like, just, no, do you know why I said it? it. No, because sometimes, it. yeah, they do this thing, yeah, where I feel like, obviously, we're in this space in it, and we have to, We there's a job that we have, like, it's like, entertain, this, that, and the other, and, you know, just talk about the game. Yeah. Now I'm gonna do that, but it don't mean you could be rude and take the piss because I'm not having that. <laughs> do you know what I'm saying? So there's little moments where, and if you keep writing the same message, you obviously want my attention. Well, you got my attention now. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and guess what? <laughs> this is what I think about you. So, and I think when it when we start to lose, bro, I promise you, they what they do go for is the yeah. people positive. Anyone that's been positive, yeah, about yeah of them, course. You see, this you're is why you number one. Yeah, you're absolutely. you idiot. This that that's the other. That's the land. That's the, no, that's, the land. That's, that's how it goes in this work. space. Oh, no, it's, it's horrible. nasty work. It's, it's nasty horrible. work. But you have to what you have to what you have to do in them situations. I've been on a few match features. You know, I've been yeah. accused. Look at the, the classic Arsenal one. You're yeah. so negative. You just. And then the thing that I talk about happens, yeah. like you know, it's <laughs> that's the classic. Talking. It's gone down. It's gone down. I've done the Jesse Lingard thing where I jinxed it. You know what I'm saying? He yeah. gave away the ball. T A T A W K I N. Stop talking. That's what it was. Yeah. <laughs> stop, stop talking. Stop talking on my own channel. I got told to yeah. shut up. Like in my that's own what I'm building, saying. I got told do not talk. There you go. And sometimes <laughs> Jurgen Fleck will. Um, Oh, well, if I'm in the mood, yeah. Like, and that's what I'm saying. So I know that, especially, it's it's incredibly toxic right now. Sometimes yeah. in the Man United fan base because it's so it's it's so partisan now. Everyone is like, it's everyone's because in. We're in that space, it's, KG. We're in that bit where it's like ooh, near the end. You even we're near yeah, the, no, well, we're in the near the end stage. Well, not just we the are. end. Well, the end of finding out. We're gonna find out whether he stays or no. Nah, you're because. missing it. We're near the end, bro. As in, the, I remember this feeling with Oli. I remember this feeling with LVG. No, uh, LVG didn't oh, you know. Feel he's going, um, you think he's going? No, I'm saying, yeah. in the he's feeling going? of the. I'm saying in the feeling of the fan base, we are near the end, bro. This are you telling me this? This doesn't feel like Jose Mourinho, LVG. No. Just, I feel I, like I, was, I feel it, like I feel. I it feel feels like, exactly the same. No, I feel. I feel like it's the beginning. I feel it's the beginning bits of large sections beginning to turn. But I was saying to Oli the other day on the show, I was like. I haven't got that feeling yet of like, oh, he's 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 gone, he's gone. Like we're gonna wake up tomorrow. But we like, always say this game, gone. no, because that can't be true. Because we say if he loses this game, remember when we have these, we've had these moments. Of, yeah, and he uh, keeps losing some of them. He loses this game, and then no, nah, because I just feel again it's with the experience, of, him, man. with the experience, experience of thingy, this just feels very familiar. Is what I'm saying. This feels think, very familiar. I think, like Flex is saying, I don't know if it's necessarily like 
it feels like it's close to the end. For me, it feels like we're close to getting an answer. It's like it's like a yeah, film, isn't it? That's we're, getting towards, we're getting towards the end of the film. We don't know yes. if there's going to be a sequel. We're waiting yes. to see if it comes up when he says, that, it says mm. Eric Ten Hag will return. We don't, we don't know. <laughs> we don't know if he's going to yeah. get killed off we or we don't know. know if it's going to say Eric Ten Hag is going to return. That's what we're it is. We're at that stage. We're in the final five. We're, we're, we're in the That's final act. Analogy. We don't yeah. know if there's going to be a sequel or we don't know if he's getting written off. Oh, That's the thing. And there's right, guys, and sorry, sorry, two seconds. While you are yeah. on this, actually, I must I must say this, actually. This video mm -hmm. is brought to you by Match View. Uh, Match View? Match Bingo. Uh, the video is brought to you by, by Match. We've got the match for you tomorrow, which we will be playing Match Bingo on. So make sure yes. um, you tune in. We've got our cards. Me, KG, and Owen are locked in. He's uh, to get like red I said, AD needs someone <laughs> to get a red card. You need, you, you, yeah, he needs someone to get. Oh, he's going to turn into full on tie. Every yeah. single tackle, every single tackle, he's going to be like. Where's the card then? Where's the card? <laughs> Be like KG. and the reason <laughs> and the reason why we're talking about cards you're probably thinking if you joined it in just now you're thinking what is going on brought to you by match bingo so every save every throw in every corner every red card like kg has just said can bring you real cash prizes yes. um it makes football so much more enjoyable and you can play it across um your your devices with your bingo card all you have to do is download the app by clicking the link in the video description below or scan the qr code on screen which you can see um once you're in the app and you've grabbed yourself some bingo cards to play along. Every event that happens that's on your bingo card will automatically get stamped. So you don't have to worry about if there's a substitution made in a certain minute. Oh, I need to go and stamp my card. No, it does it for you. And there's also free games every week that Match Bingo bring uh, to you that are free for you to get involved in. And this week's one is called uh, Bingos as well, which is really easy to play. Bunch of teams on there and they just need to score. Really, really easy. There's £575 to be won in the Bournemouth versus Man United game. Yes, there is. And oh, also... Good. And also, yeah, that's five hundred seventy-five pound. Also, there's over a thousand pounds to be won um, in the Arsenal versus Aston Villa game on Sunday. So make sure you get involved. Every card you purchase, by the way, um, does support the Stroke Association as well, oh, which is a fantastic good. cause as well. So every card purchase supports a great cause. Players must be eighteen or over to play. Click the link in the video description or scan the QR code on screen. Please play responsibly and be gamble aware. Dot org. I can't wait for tomorrow because that will give an extra edge to the to the yeah. match. And we're all on it as well. So we'll all be there with our cards. Oh, wait, six minute oh, substitution. Yeah, wait, let me see. Yeah, yeah, it's gonna, yeah, it's gonna yeah, be, yeah. it's gonna be insane. Oh, like, but yeah, yeah KG, like, you uh, um, yeah, not... player sent off, he's going to erupt. Oh, he is. <laughs> he will be bad in it. Oh man, oh, I'm gonna be a loser. No, on a serious note, yeah, I like the one thing that we've had experience of, we haven't had experience of a real title race in a long time, but mm -hmm. we've experienced managers going or managers um being in untenable situations um and you know we i never forget the the jose ones when it's like is this the game is this the one then after somehow we just managed i think there was a, there was a newcastle one we thought it's going to be this newcastle game do we do we win that one yeah, old Trafford like, went two nil down didn't we and he came back three two yeah yeah yeah, yeah, yeah sanchez yeah. scored didn't he this is it like and at some stages yeah um how they just i think it's the feeling and the atmosphere and the vibe of the fan uh maybe online not in the stadium because the stadium hasn't turned i think flex no, when, the he stadium actually, up, no, when he walked in and he was waving to the fans kind of almost apologetically at that game that he was at the liverpool one no shots on no shots on goal what was yeah, that last, oh, uh, last uh, few games. games yeah half last time, few yeah. games What's he's given like? it this to the crowd yeah. isn't he you know half time. yeah the, the, the fans of the fans haven't turned the fans haven't fully turned well behind him no booze in the stadium yeah. No, uh, like a couple of like half like it's more like for fuck's sake we're losing, not get out of our club. Like, oh, okay. just, it's not toxic. In, so inside still, old still in, yeah, it's not toxic. Don't get me wrong, we've experienced some bad football. Though. We've we, yeah, absolutely, we've experienced some bad football. So there has been some booze at times, and you yeah. know some unrest. And you know I ain't gonna lie, there's been points of the season where people in my block or the stand, you can feel it. You know when Rashford hasn't jumped for the ball or run for it or. A lot yeah. of like Bruno during the Liverpool game, a lot of guys get on with it, get up, Bruno, come on. But you know, that's within it. Oh, yeah, 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 get on with it. Um, there's been things like that, you know, more missed yeah. chances, or you know, when we've let in some goals, you know, people are every bloody week, God's sake, like you know, t t yeah, yeah, people, yeah, yeah, that, yeah. But that's well, the not, in the game thing. Fully, I know, I just have a feeling that, and it's still because when you do a poll on Ten Hag, he kind of yeah. Ten Hag in. When we do like polls on this channel, I think we're like 65, 75 percent are still kind of with yeah, the manager. Right? I'm with the manager. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. I think, say that, yeah. 
I, but then because we're now stepping into a space where potentially West Ham could go above us, yeah, Newcastle really could potentially enough. go above us. Right. That, like it's we're Chelsea. in this really we're 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 getting towards this kind of um precarious place in the league. We're looking, we're looking up anymore, we're looking down. And that's changed. And that's Before, the, and, 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 and the whole vibe like changes on Villa and Spurs. And now we're going, hmm, I'll tell you what, hold on a minute. Chelsea are coming. We lost them all season. That's what I'm hold saying. On a Newcastle are playing at 12.30. They, they're on the same games as us. They've got 47 points, yeah? They're two points behind us. If they beat Spurs at 12.30, which we, we will already kick off, which we need them to do. But we need to make sure we win our game or Newcastle will just be above us. Yeah. <laughs> That's what I'm saying now, but and I'm telling and you that's right how now, can change. things start to because the league position. What's what's benefited us and the manager, the coach, everything, and the setup and the environment of the fans is we've been six, like we we're in sixth place. So it's not as it's not as horrid when you look at the Chelsea standing. You're like they look bad, but we can mm-hmm. easily swap places with these guys. With uh, um and Chelsea leapfrogging us will change the whole mood, I'm telling you right now, because that's the only team we've been able to look down on with a smile on our face, like, ah, you pricks. But I'm telling you now. <laughs> that's what I'm, and again, that's what I'm saying earlier on. I'm saying, like, more. I need more information because more can happen. Like, as Flex pointed out, we could, we've been stuck in sick for a while now. Haven't we? We've largely been, that's been our spot for how how many weeks at this point? A while. Yeah, good, yeah, good, yeah, good, for a long well. time. But, like, to Flex's point, like we could end up now, after this weekend, like, seventh. Or eight for something like that, and then like as you pointed out, then KG like, then suddenly that pressure that's already there that just gets a little bit heavier, a little bit stronger. But yeah. but if you if we if we win our games, KG's a disgrace in the sheet. Bloody hell! Yeah. On my phone. Look, it's the orange bit. It's on silent. Why is it ringing that loud? I don't know what you've done. I don't know. That's what I'm saying, my, bro. My or, my this... orange bit's on, and you know my phone's not ringing. This is what I'm saying. I'm I'm <laughs> my orange bit's on as well. Maybe you just... it's that shit though, isn't it? That shit because I've done that before. We start the stream. I goes, <laughs> yeah. I never have it off. I never. I don't like my phone ringing loud. I don't like the attention. <laughs> not the best. Do you know what I mean? If you're in like a crowd of people or a group of people, whatever, and your phone whose phone is that? Yeah. If it's yours, it's ringing. Oh, I hate that. I don't like that to be me. Makes me feel very embarrassed. <laughs> no, because I'll just miss. I prefer. Idea. I prefer vibrate, and then I just know. Hey, okay, yo. that's that's me. You know, KG. <laughs> <laughs> no, did he? <laughs> <laughs> oh man, listen. Um, I mean, today's episode was basically. Well, we didn't really think it would go there. It's just talking about where we're at with the manager. It's about KG realising that he wants to clap back at the people who say he knows nothing I about wanna football. Be, and I want to know ball. So he literally but, um, bought, a, I don't he remember literally the bought a book yep. about football. Then he wants to move the, 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 you know, he wants to move the conversation on to a team that we beat a couple of years ago, which he thought was a different team. Um so it was Copenhagen. <laughs> which he thought was Copenhagen. Uh, then he's like, then he's like, stop doing this. He's like, yo, stop laughing. You know, stopped it when he, he no, made he us go this. there. No, nah, because you lot are just being pricks. Well, and the other one, and the other one going, and the other one going, it's like when we played, who was it? Who did we play? Brentford. No, it wasn't Brentford. Who do we play? It's Brentford. It was Brentford. No, it wasn't and Brentford. Lot, well, and we started laughing. And we started laughing. And then you go, and you go, the and then you came to the revelation. You went, oh, it was Brentford. We started laughing. You went, no, yeah, no, 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 was, <laughs> no, it was Brentford. I was, no, just, I was trying to be focused <laughs> on the point, and you lot's doing that annoying thing that you do. And you do it all the time, guys. So Why don't act like you're us. Why do you blame it You do it all the time. Yes, you do. You came to this. You came to this episode of the trinity unrepowered by dangor right by you came to this episode with this yes. ed- with you you steered this whole thing you did you it shouldn't let me you shouldn't let me be a pilot <laughs> you shouldn't let me be a pilot considering i blame you lot <laughs> do you know you I, I came into the stream, I came, the into the stream. <laughs> I came into the stream and then do you know what owen said <laughs> had any sleep <laughs> 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 yeah, and then I said, like, you're until 2 a.m. last yeah. night. I said, tomorrow. I was there till I, I got home at four. I got home at four. Yeah. Did you? And, you street, four. and you went and you done your show as well this morning. Yeah. And he's king I of the content. That. He's king of the content as well because not only did he finish super late, he started putting up shorts to tell people how late he was. Yeah. Because <laughs> I need to let you know this is, I'm, I'm, it's because I didn't think I was going to do the show in the morning. I was considering. I'm not going to do the show. But, no, but, my wife but, but well done, though. Well, well done, though. Yeah. yeah. My wife yeah. was like, you have to stay consistent. Yeah, Love that. So. Love that. No, yeah. although, honestly, although we're laughing and it was funny, 
that is that is that is a testament. The real truth behind the thing is, it's like there are no excuses. You just but no you do deserve the laughs. Going, you yeah. do deserve the laughs. It's not as if it was we were, we were picking on you. Know, whatever. Yeah. You deserve the laughs. Shut up, lads. Who <laughs> said silly things? <laughs> I know what. Oh, you're gonna sleep good tonight, mate. You're gonna sleep. Good I'm not. Tonight, I'm mate. not. The what kids. My oh, missus is no. out doing some. A not good project for her. Great business. At work. Yeah. <laughs> he caught himself. <laughs> I don't think Butch is going to watch this in the end. So he deep. caught himself I'm so quick. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not going to. That's the fastest I've ever seen. And then Owen, guess what? Owen, <laughs> Owen, guess what? Jenny's going to blame us. Flex, why did you ask me? Flex, why, why did you ask me if I'm going to sleep good tonight? It's your fault. She's, she's doing some annoying, really good project. Really good project. <laughs> that was okay. the predictive edit. <laughs> <laughs> on that note, on that note, this I has can't been the eleventh thing. episode of the Trinity oh, podcast, God. repowered by Dangor. Um, like you said, like I said, this is brought to you by Max Dingo. The link is in the video description below. Yep. You can scan the QR code on screen and let you know how to play. Sounds it like the Gabrielle. You know, yes, it was. Like yeah. that joke. <laughs> Honestly, guys, we'll see you on another episode of the Trinity oh, set very, very soon. And more importantly, we'll see you tomorrow. Tomorrow, match day, we'll be live from 3.30 p.m. We will be there. It's a long marathon. Man United need to get the points. We need to get please, it done. Please, club. Please, just please, don't embarrass us, boys. Please. Just, please let me go into DR on Monday. Just, just cool. Just please, please, honestly. That's all we need. Um, take care, guys. We'll see you on another episode next week. Same time, same place, 6 p.m. Peace.